Hi, this is John Sawash, and today I'm going to be updating you on Chrome OS version 74, which was just released. Uh, there are a couple of important updates that will impact those of us who are using Chromebooks in the classroom. Now, Google updates the Chromebook operating system roughly every six weeks, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depending on uh, the situation, but you can plan on updates coming out fairly regularly. The good news is that you really don't have to do anything. Your Chromebooks are going to update automatically. The updates download in the background. You don't even know about it. And the next time you restart your Chromebook, that new update will be applied. Now the updates don't come out all at once. So I have a variety of Chromebooks. Some of my Chromebooks have updated to version 74. Some have not. You should get it in the next uh, few days, certainly this week. Um, if you have not. Now, if you're interested in checking to see if you're on version 74 or uh, if you want to force your device to update, you can do that. Um, all you need to do is click in the bottom right corner of your screen down by the clock and Wi-Fi, uh, go up to settings, and um, we're going to click on the hamburger menu, the three lines in the top left corner, go all the way down to the bottom uh, where it says about Chrome OS. This will give us the updates on um, what version we're using. So currently this device, my Pixelbook, is on version 73, yada, yada, yada. Um, I can click check for updates um, and it'll check to see if uh, 74 is ready. It's not yet. I expect in the next couple days uh, this one will um, roll out uh, for version 74. Now once that update has been downloaded, you will get a little notification on your um, Chrome app launcher. Um, that says, hey, you've got an update ready to be applied. It is important that at some point you restart your Chromebook so that update can be uh, applied. If you're on devices that are heavily used in the classroom and students are just logging off, logging back in, um, until those devices do a full restart, you won't get that new update. So uh, keep that in mind at the end of the week or end of the day if you can have your students power them down. That way, if there's an update, um, they can, uh, uh, that'll be applied. Now let's jump into uh, what is new in this version of uh, Chrome OS. Now sometimes the updates that are pushed out really don't have a whole lot of direct impact on classroom instruction. There are infrastructure things, backend things that make the Chromebook work better, but don't really change anything of uh, your day-to-day -day use of the device. That's not the case with Chrome OS version 74. There's a couple of, I think I've got three updates that do potentially have um, uh, the potential to impact you and your students in the classroom. Um, I will give a full rundown of uh, the updates on uh, my blog post. I'm also going to link to um, several good websites that track all these updates if you want to see all the, uh, the details on them. Um, so first off, one update that may impact a few of you, um, your Chromebook has a camera app built into it. If you just press the app launcher or the magnifying glass key on your device and search for camera, um, I've got several, but this one here is the default camera app that comes standard with your Chromebook. It's nothing fancy, takes pictures. However, this app will now support external USB cameras. If you have a webcam, a document cam, and you're interested in taking pictures using that external device, you will now be able to do that as long as you're running Chrome OS 74 or greater. Um, if you're a science teacher and your students are using an external camera to take pictures of a science experiment or something, I'm thinking like an IPVO document camera, something like that, this is a helpful um, update. Won't impact that many people, but uh, you'll see the ability to attach a USB device and configure it um, in the settings for the app once you get to 74. Um, second thing, this is a minor thing, but just shows that uh, the uh, Chrome OS is kind of getting polished. Um, they've made some changes to the search in the app launcher that I think are nice. So when you open the app launcher, so that's by pressing the magnifying glass key on your device, um, you can do a Google search from here. It shows you your um, previous Chrome apps. On version 74, it will now display your recently used Chrome apps as well as some recent Google searches. 
So you can see you know, what it looked like before the update and after the update. Just a minor thing, it's not something I would tell my students about, but when they click in that search box, they will start to see some more information. I expect that this will get richer and richer over time uh, and more useful. So those are the first two updates. Those are relatively minor, um, won't impact you tremendously. The next two updates do have the potential for major impact in your classroom. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about is uh, you now have the ability to add folders to the root uh, folder structure on your Chromebook. So it's been a little weird up to this point. In your Chromebook, you have kind of this section here. It says My Files, but you had a Downloads folder, and that was it. Like, you could only put things in the Downloads folder. I can't create a new folder above that. Now you can. So I can actually create a folder on my local device to store uh, files here. Now, this is something that is useful, definitely needed to be done, but I do want to caution you just a little bit. If you're storing folders, uh, files in these folders, they are on the physical Chromebook that you're using at this time. So if you're switching devices, if you have a different device, those files won't be there if you go back and forth between multiple Chromebooks. I still would encourage you and recommend storing the majority of your files in Google Drive rather than in the My Files portion of your Chromebook. That goes for your students as well. Now, you still can store things there if you want them locally hosted. If you want to organize some files here, you certainly can do that. And the ability to add folders certainly makes that a lot uh, easier. That's how it should be, for, for sure. So that's um, an important update. The last update I want to talk about is the most important. Uh, and this one I am super excited about. This is a great thing. You can now annotate PDF files natively from the Chrome browser. You don't have to install an extension. You don't have to have a special tool like Kami. You can just click one button and start annotating PDF files. Let me give you a quick example of uh, how this would work. So um, I just did a Google search for a PDF file. I'm gonna go ahead and open um, it up. So this is a, a PDF and you'll notice that once you update to version 74, you'll have this new pencil button in the top and that will allow you to edit this PDF. There's some simple tools that you can take advantage of. There's a pen tool, a highlighter tool, different colors, line thicknesses. So uh, I can just, uh, you know, injured means hurt, just draw a line. Uh, banned is not allowed, arrested is stopped by police. I can easily just, um, address this directly without having to download anything. It's it's helpful. So we've got a variety of tools, you know, here are my different color options, line thickness, this is the pen tool. I have a highlighter tool as well, which, you know, does exactly what you would expect. Um, and then an eraser tool as well. This is great. Now, if you've been paying attention, uh, you may have heard about this thing called Chrome Canvas that Google developed maybe four months ago. You can easily see that they've taken that Chrome Canvas experiment and now uh, injected it directly into the operating system so that you can use it no matter where you're at. Couple of uh, important things to know. In order to save these annotations, if I want my students to turn this in, I need to make sure I instruct them to download this file um, and you know mark it. Uh, the files you know, should be like annotated or something like that. If I just close the annotation uh, tools, it erases all of the annotations and they're gone. You'd have to do it again. So very important that you download, save that the annotated version as a new file. I have been exploring this in the context of Google Classroom as well. And unfortunately, it's a little bit frustrating. So it's, it's a little complicated. Um, I think you're gonna have to kind of hold off until maybe next school year to give this another try. What I'm doing here, this is a PDF that I've either opened from a website or uh, I've downloaded the file to my Chromebook and then opened it in the Chrome OS PDF viewer. When I do that, I get the annotation tools. Now I took this same PDF and I opened it, uh, I posted it to Google Classroom and I um, open it right here. But when I open that, 
You'll notice um, at first the URL is a Google Classroom URL. So it view, it's viewing the PDF through Google Classroom and I don't have the annotation tools. Even if I click open in a new window, when I attach a PDF through Google Classroom, it actually uploads the PDF to Google Drive and I'm using the Google Drive PDF viewer, not the Chrome PDF viewer. Again, what that means is that you're not going to get the annotation tools. This is way too complicated to, for me to explain to a student. It's not really something I want you to have to remember either. So I would just wait on using this particular feature in the classroom for a few more months, probably until next school year. I believe Google will bring this feature to other you know, aspects of Google and it'll be more seamless and much uh, easier. You. So for now, if you're opening a PDF from a website, if you're downloading a PDF um, on your Chromebook and then opening it, you're going to be fine. It's going to work just great, but it's a little funky if you're trying to uh, annotate PDFs through Google Classroom at this time. It's a great feature. I think uh, we're moving in the right direction. I think you'll see that come to uh, more aspects of the Google ecosystem very, very soon. There are a few more updates in this version of Chrome OS, but they're pretty technical and won't have a direct impact on um, you in the classroom. I'll leave links to several good websites that break down all the updates and you can check them out if you're interested. That's all for Chrome OS 74. The next time um, the operating system updates for 75, I'll bring you another uh, teardown. I'll tell you everything you need to know about that update.